All right, so after you've got that offer accepted, which is such an exciting time, uh, the next step in the home buying process is really to get an inspection done on the home. So um, an inspector will be scheduled uh, to go out to um, inspect that home. And uh, generally they'll spend anywhere from it, you know, it really depends on the size of the home and the situation, but they'll spend anywhere from three, even up to four or five hours um, at the home, you know, looking at the, you know, in the mechanicals um, to, you know, the electrical to um, water shutoffs. They're going in the attic, you know, a lot of different places to really, you know, analyze that home and identify that if there's any deficiencies uh, in that home that you should be made aware of. So, you know, they'll spend that time at the home and then you will have an opportunity at the end of the inspection. You can actually meet the inspector um, at the home and then they will walk you around the home. And Christy and I always recommend to all of our clients to do this because it's a great um, educational time for you. Um, you get to learn where the water, water shutoffs are and, you know, a lot of other just things about the home that you want to know about in terms of upkeep. Um, and then, of course, the inspector will also let you know about any deficiencies that exist um, in the home at that time. So um, following um, that walkthrough with the inspector, um, they'll put together a full report for you. That report will be pro provided to you um, as well as your real estate agent. And then depending on the findings, um, you know, if there are some deficiencies that have come up um, that you would like to have addressed, um, you really can go into a negotiation period uh, with the sellers and you could, you know, ask the sellers um, to take care of some of those deficiencies. So um, actually have them, you know, fix whatever problem might exist. Um, or, or you could just ask for a uh, reduction in price, right? So you'd be saving it on the, the price of that home. And then you could use um, your own money after you move in um, to take care of some of those deficiencies. So that's really up to you and uh, really all part of that negotiation process. So you'll kind of enter into that period where there'll be a little bit of back and forth between yourselves and the sellers of their home. And then uh, you really, um, you know, come to an agreement on uh, how to move forward. And uh, then you'll move forward um, in the home buying process, which really then the next step um, is to get an appraisal done on the home.